Action Photo Tours is excited to announce the Dalton Highway add-on to our 2015 Polar Bear Photo Tour. The Dalton Highway, which is sometimes known as the Hall Road, heads north out of Fairbanks and runs nearly 500 miles up to the Arctic Ocean, ending in Prudhoe Bay. It was built back in the 70s to support the pipeline and drilling projects. Nowadays, many large trucks traverse this road bringing up all sorts of supplies and heavy loads. If you've watched the History Channel, you may have seen the Dalton Highway featured in Seasons 3 and 4 of Ice Road Truckers. As you can imagine, driving the Dalton Highway is not for the faint of heart. However, it offers stunning Arctic scenery and wildlife, and is an absolute delight to photograph. We'll be heading up the Dalton at the end of September into early October. This is a nice shoulder season. The tourist crowds are gone, there is often some snow on the ground, temperatures are still relatively mild, and chances are good we'll see the northern lights if the evening skies are clear. As we drive north out of Fairbanks, we'll hopefully see some nice fall color in the trees and tundra. Fall color is very fickle in this part of Alaska, so obviously there's no guarantee. However, color in the tundra can often persist very late in the season, like in this shot of the Kanudi River crossing. We'll be stopping for wildlife sightings and scenic viewpoints, so you will have plenty of photo ops. Finger Mountain is a prominent landmark on the Dalton. In fact, early bush pilots would use it for navigation, since the finger points the direction back to Fairbanks. Photographing Finger Mountain involves a short hike from the road. There are many big hills on the Dalton, some with large views of the landscape. As we continue further north, we'll cross the Arctic Circle and start getting into more mountainous landscapes. Sukapak Mountain is one of the more prominent peaks as it towers over the highway. This is, incidentally, one of the few parts of the highway that is paved. After spending the night in Coldfoot, we'll continue our journey by visiting the small town of Wiseman. With many old buildings, bird life, and mountain views, Wiseman will keep us pressing those shutter buttons. Beyond Wiseman, the trees start to gradually thin out, and the rugged Brooks Range comes into view. The Brooks Range is our favorite place for photography. We'll find awesome landscapes and plentiful wildlife. The wildlife commonly seen along the Dalton includes caribou, muskoxen, foxes, doll sheep, and sometimes even wolves. Although there is no guarantee of wildlife sightings, with four days on the Dalton, we should have pretty good luck. The muskoxen are almost always spotted, but they may require short hikes from the road for the best photography. If we're lucky, we might even get to see a caribou migration, as they often migrate right over Attigan Pass this time of year, which is right where the Dalton Highway goes. Once we get to the end of the road, we'll spend the night in Dead Horse. Since this is close to the fall equinox, auroral activity is often quite high. If the skies are clear, chances are very good we'll see the northern lights and be able to photograph them. Any night excursions to photograph the aurora are optional, but highly recommended. And don't worry, we'll help make sure you get all those camera settings correct to produce the best possible images. We'll continue looking for wildlife as we make our way back towards Fairbanks. After another overnight stop in Coldfoot, we'll get an early start the next morning to ensure we have ample time to enjoy the warm thermal waters of China Hot Springs. We'll also have a hearty group dinner while at China before returning to Fairbanks to check into the Marriott Hotel. If you're interested in the trip, just visit www.actionphototours.com to learn more about this and to make your reservation. Don't delay. We only have a limited number of spots available. Also, this trip doesn't have to be booked concurrently with the Polar Bear trip. You can book this as a standalone excursion if you'd like. We hope to see you soon on the Dalton Highway.